All right, so here we have Bitcoin on Bybit on the one hour. As you can see, we uh, are trying to get above this 100 right now. Uh, we were talking in the Discord today about crossing this 50. And once we cross the 50, we was talking about going up to the 100. Uh, so you still have 51 minutes left. So we'll see how this closes. If we close above the 100, the next stop is the 22,450 to 22,700 level where this POC on the VPVR is uh, and your 200 uh, SMA. So we are in the bullish control zone on the RSI, which is a momentum oscillator, uh, judges momentum, uh, whether it's bullish or bearish. We are in the bullish control zone right now above that signal line, MACD, fresh cross of the zero line to the upside. Uh, positive momentum is increasing. As you see, your MACD line is, is above the signal line with a strong upside curvature. Your volatility has picked up. Your BBWP has crossed the signal line. Well, actually, it had a retest. And now we're in the upper zone. So I would expect some high volatility. We got the FOMC meeting today uh, at about 2.30. And right now it is 2 o'clock. So... We, we expected that the volatility would start to pick up around the meeting. Um, but we'll find out how this closure is. Uh, let's see here. The bunch, I want to check stochastic. So we did, we had some trouble getting above that band. But right now, if we close here, we will be above the top band. And uh, so we were in the overbought region. Now we've came down, so now we're back in the bullish control zone. We are below that signal line. It's hugging tight to it right now, but we'll find out what happens next. Um, like I said, a lot's going to depend on this closure and the next closure. Um, so the bullish case for Bitcoin would be that we close above this 100. Right now we are at you know 21,950. I'd like to see us close above 22k. Uh, you know, we were looking at the 21,800 level and as a very important level, and we are above that right now. Now, we could get a close here or come back down. We could come all the way back down to the 50 and the 21 and still be bullish. Uh, would be a higher low. Uh, basically, as long as we're above 21,140, we're in good shape. Uh, looks like we are... I mean, continuing to head up right now. The bulls and the bears are going at it. Uh, so we'll find out who wins. Um, bullish case is that we get above this 200 at the 22.500 at the 22 level. That's the next level to watch right now. If we can do that, I think we go all the way up to 24K. If we break this 200, 21 crosses the 50 and the 50 and the 21 start to work their way up to the 100. We get in the overbought region, dance around there in the bullish control zone. Uh, just stay above that signal line. We need to stay above 21,700 in order to stay above that signal line. As your MACD, we continue to print dark green bars. So right now, we just need a little bit farther, and we will be above the last high on the histogram. Uh, we are above that zero line. Oh, by the way, those trend lines that we drew, Bounced exactly off of it. That would have got you ready for this trade. Same thing with the RSI. Bounced straight off of it. Um, so like I said, I would expect the vault to continue. Bearish case is that we break the 21, 130 mark and this last low. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this last low. If that happens, I would consider us getting down to 2700. After that, it's the 2250 22, level. Uh, that would also imply that we get out of the bearish control zone, which will provide massive support. Um, but it would imply that we get down below 21,700. So let's see what that implies with 21. Okay, so basically we need to stay above we need to not make this a reversal and get this huge wick up to the upside. 
um, but like I said that would provide massive support by the time we get down there the signal line will be at the bottom of the bullish control zone um, and we need to stay above oh, okay so the bearish case is that we do break you know this last low here and your MACD cross the zero line as your obviously your MACD line would cross the signal line right there at 21 for oh, hold on 20 872 we need to stay above there so we got like a thousand dollar leeway right now um let's uh let's check the four hour real quick so yeah like i was saying on the four hour <clears throat> i mean we could even come down to the 200 so actually i'm going to move this down we could come all the way down to 21k and that's what i would be looking at i do have an alert set there Honest, I mean, obviously, I would expect to bounce at the 2738 level region and then just take it level by level down to 19k. Uh, and yeah, I mean, if we make we need to make a higher high here, uh, we need to make a higher high than this last breakdown point here. Um, and 22800, 22800 would be the next level uh, on the four hour. So let's see if that what that 20, 22800. It's this uh, VPVR POC point of control. Um, so like I was saying, we get above the 200, we'll probably find some resistance at the 22800 level. Probably come back down for a retest of the 22450 region, and then probably a resumption up if we can break this 200. Uh, so that's what I'm looking at for Bitcoin. If you guys are liking this video so far, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description below. 21's crossing the 50 here on Ethereum. We are on the one hour. Uh, we did get rejected from our purple zone. See, look, look at that. Remember, we were talking about getting the retest of this resumption down or breaking back through it. As long as we can close above this 200, that is going to look good. Honestly, I would like to close about where we're at now at 1570. Um, that would look really good. We are in the bullish control zone on the RSI. Bounced off that signal line. MACD strong upside curvature starting to print another dark green bar on the histogram. Um, and your BBWP just crossed the moving average and in the upper zone. So I think now the ball is coming. This wasn't really volatility here. Now the move is coming. Um, so we'll find out, you know, if the FOMC meeting basically just prices in what we already expected, then I would expect us to continue going up. Now, if it's not, I would expect a small reversal and then possibly go back up afterward. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the bullish case is that we get... If we, if we close above 1570, if we can close above 1570, next stop is the 1700 mark, uh, which basically would be the top of this uh, channel and this purple zone. That would also imply that we stay in the bullish control zone. MACD stays above that zero line, prints some more dark green bars above these last highs on the histogram at 11.61. And that's what I would be looking at. Bearish cases that we, oh, also your 21 and your 50 coming up to your 100. If that crosses, I do think we come up to the top of the channel for sure. Well, nothing's for sure, but that would solidify my thesis. Bearish case is that we break the 21 and the 50 uh, at 1460. If that happens, I think we go all the way back down to our lows at 1350 region. Um possibly make a lower low a lot depends on what happens today uh, like I said there's going to be some vol uh, with the FOMC meeting and all that um, but definitely stay nimble right now because there is a, uh, some good trades available let's move on to Solana Solana is up 5% today and we did get the fake out remember how we were talking about a bear trap it looks like the bear trap is confirmed um, but we need to get a good closure on this candle. I would like to see us close above 22,175 on Bitcoin with this candle or the next one. Probably this candle, though, I would like to see it. 
we have 41 minutes left. So here on Solana, we just entered the bullish control zone. Well, actually, we're testing the top, the bottom of it right now. So we could expect a minor rejection. We are being held down by the 100 as of now in the bottom of our red zone. These zones, I mean, we have we have stayed so much on the pulse of Solana. It's it's pretty unreal. Um, you know, not to sound cocky or anything, I'm just saying we have stayed on the pulse of Solana. Printing a dark green bar on the histogram. Looks like you front ran the signal line a little bit. MACD still upside curvature strong, actually. Uh, BBWP is just now crossing the moving average. See, this is what I'm saying. The vol has just begun. The moves have just begun. Um, you know, we kind of consolidated a little bit down here. You know, we we got some minor volatility, but only on the very short term. You know, now it's time. Now it's time to really make the move. If we can close above this 100 at 38.24, honestly, I would like to see us close above 38.44. I do think we come up to the 200 and test the top of this channel at 40.84. Um, but we'll find out. So like I said, we got 40 minutes left. The FOMC meeting will begin by then. So this candle is going to be volatile. The next candle is probably going to be volatile. So make your trades accordingly bullish case is that we break the 200 uh, well first we got to break this bottom of this red zone on a one hour closure but really the bullish case is that we break this 200 and this channel go all the way up to $50 um, that would also imply that we get deep in the bullish control zone MACD starts printing uh, dark green bars higher than the point the point four zero level on the histogram um, and your MACD continues to the upside, getting past the 0 0.80 level and these last three highs. So definitely watch your MACD, watch your uh, watch your RSI. Let's move on to stochastics. So yeah, if we get this closure, man, it is going to look good. Right now your stoke's coming back down into the bullish control zone. Well, no, you're staying in oversold or overbought, which means we have strong, strong momentum right now. Wouldn't take much to turn it around, but we did just cross the signal line again. We are on the current tick. Like I said, this candle is going to mean a lot. Um, it's going to mean a lot. So the bulls and the bears are going to battle it out, you know, for the next 40 minutes. Um, let's go back and bearish case is that we break the 35. Well, actually the 34, 36 region. We break that. I think we come all the way down to 31, 50, uh, and that would also imply that we get below this neutral median line and this signal line. Also, your MACD gets rejected from the zero line. I mean, we're we're facing strong resistance right here. We got strong resistance at the level that we're at right now in the MACD. So if we get rejected from there and go back below the zero line and cross that signal line as well, that is not going to look good at all. I mean, but we got plenty of leeway. You know, it's about $36 before we uh, pass that. 37.3 uh, in order to pass the signal line to the downside on the RSI. But uh, 36 region in order to cross the EMA signal line on the MACD. And then 34 to cross the zero line. So if we get below 36... It's not going to look good. If we get above 30, if we get below 37, it's going to start to, you know, look a little sketchy. So those are my thoughts for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. Once again, if you guys like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, everyone have a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, and I will see you tomorrow.